Auburn. Following the indefinite suspension of two of his staff members, Bruce Pearl is back to claiming to be ignorance again. Similarly to when he claimed to not know the identities of the two players involved in the federal complaint against then-assistant coach Chuck Person, Pearl claimed Monday to be ignorant to what led university officials to place special assistant Jordan Verhulsten video coordinator Frankie Sullivan on administrative leave as a result of the school's internal investigation into the men's basketball program. This is the process that you go through to certify a program, we're going through everything. Auburn head coach Bruce Pearl after two staff members were suspended indefinitely. We're involved, and it is a process Pearl said following his team's Monday practice. But because I don't know the details about what they're involved with, I can't comment. Despite already being down two players, Austin Wiley and Daniel Purifoy, and now two of his staff members, because of this ongoing investigation, Pearl attempted to convey a message in his belief that this was part of the normal process in these types of eligibility cases. This is the process that you go through, Pearl said. To certify a program, we're going through everything. Pearl is claiming to not know the details of what the school's internal investigation allegedly found about Verhulst, who by job definition was special assistant to the head coach, and Sullivan but did confirm he was informed Saturday afternoon the move would made. Pearl's next media session will be Tuesday afternoon before the Tigers, 1-0, head to the Charleston, S.E., Classic to play Indiana State, 1-0, in a first-round matchup at 10.30 a.m. Thursday. More, two Auburn men's hoop staff members placed on indefinite leave. The indefinite suspension of Verhulst and Sullivan are the first staff members other than Chuck Person who have been at least temporarily removed from their position and prohibited from being around the program since Person's arrest on September 26. It is unclear at this time if either Verhulst or Sullivan will be paid during their time on administrative leave as school policy dictates the leave can be classified as unpaid or paid time off. Verhulst has been with Auburn since Pearl's hiring and was starting his first season as a special assistant to the head coach after spending three years as a video coordinator. Verhulst was the video coordinator at Memphis from 2009 to 14. Sullivan, a former player and three-year team captain, was in his third year as a staff member under Pearl, but first as a video coordinator. More, Bruce Pearl hasn't spoken to FBI or Auburn officials during investigation. Pearl downplayed his involvement when asked Monday night if he felt like this move of his staff members was a message the school's administration, outside legal counsel and internal investigators were sending to him. No, I'm certain they're doing what they're required to do, Pearl said. I don't think it has anything to do with me. More, off-court issues stifling Auburn-Alabama resurgence. Pearl apologized on November 9 during his first appearance on the weekly Tiger Talk radio show saying this internal investigation and the consequences from it have distracted from the beginning of the 2017-18 season that the Tigers head coach repeatedly said was hopefully a NCAA tournament qualifying squad. It's a full-blown investigation and it's unfortunate, but you know what? It was self-inflicted, Pearl said. We brought it upon ourselves and we are battling every day to get through this and let the focus be on our basketball team and for me, I apologize. I'm sorry, because I came here to bring credibility and a competitive basketball program to Auburn, and we are there, but unfortunately this has been just an awful distraction for the university and our fans, and I'm sorry about it.